Hi, I'm Eric Siegel, and welcome to episode 73 of Eric's Trains. Okay, so episode 73 was originally going to be part two of the three-part series that I'm doing on my non-train-related hobbies and collections that started in episode 72, but something special came up, and so parts two and three are going to be moved to episodes 74 and 75, because today, for episode 73, we are stuck in traffic on our way over to Legacy Station in Lilburn, Georgia. Legacy Station is the train store that I buy the vast majority of my trains from, and we're on our way over there to check out something really, really cool. So what you're about to see is the culmination of something that actually started about a year ago, and I didn't want to talk about it too much because I didn't want to jinx it or start talking about it and then have it not happen. But about a year ago, Legacy Station decided to do a joint venture with Sidetrack Hobbies, which is a train store that specializes in tin plate trains, standard gauge, O gauge, MTH tin plate, Lionel Corporate tin plate, which is of course made by MTH. So they decided they wanted to do a custom run standard gauge train with a 400E engine and some passenger cars, and they were gonna do it painted up in the green Southern Crescent paint scheme. And at some point, Legacy Station contacted me and they said, hey, would you be interested in doing these sounds for the engine, the crew talk sounds and the passenger freight announcement sounds? And I said, yeah, I'd be interested. So they put me in touch with the guy at MTH who is in charge of the sound files and I ended up recording a series of sound files that I sent to MTH and then they said okay we'll put them on the engine and then I kind of forgot about it until this week. Well a couple days ago Legacy Station sent me a text message with a video attached and it was a video of the brand new standard gauge 400E passenger set that just arrived it's in the beautiful Southern Crescent paint scheme and it has my voice on the train doing the announcements. Now, I'm not doing every single sound file on there, but the big ones have my voice and I gotta tell you, it was really, really exciting to see that. Now, it's been a while since I recorded the sound files, but I seem to recall that I recorded announcements for the train arriving and departing from New Orleans and or New York. And then I also recorded the names of some cities in between. And I wanted the stops to be somewhat realistic based on the real Crescent Limited or the Crescent that Amtrak runs today. So some of the stops you're gonna hear are real Crescent stops like Atlanta and New Orleans and New York and so forth. And others are sort of just made up for fun just to add some character to the set because it's tin plate. It doesn't have to be completely realistic. So you're going to hear a stop for Eric's Trains, you're going to hear a stop for Legacy Station, and I think I also did a stop for Spencer, North Carolina, among others. Anyway, this should be a lot of fun, and quite honestly, I really don't know what to expect because I've only heard a couple of the sound files so far, and so I really don't know which sound files MTH ultimately decided to include and which ones they didn't. I hope they included all of them but we'll find out in just a little bit. We're about 20 minutes or so away from Legacy Station right now, so as soon as we get there, we'll go inside and check it out. Okay, we're here at Legacy Station, so let's head on in. All right, so here's the set. It's this 400E done up in a Southern Crescent paint scheme. Beautiful. And then these four passenger cars. And there's an observation car at the end. So there it is. Beautiful, beautiful set. And again, this is tin plate, standard gauge tin plate. So for the uninitiated, this is the style of trains that were made prior to World War II. And they were made by Lionel back then. These are made by MTH under the Lionel corporate tin plate banner. So they're made by MTH, 
but they had a licensing deal with Lionel to put the Lionel name on them. Now, MTH is not renewing the Lionel Corporate 10 point license. So this is one of the last LCT trains that are gonna be made. And it's a pity because they've made some really nice stuff under the LCT banner, but apparently they couldn't reach an agreement on a new license and so MTH decided to drop it and so LCT for the time being is gonna be no more, but at least we got this out before the end. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So what we're gonna do is get this down on the test track and check it out and you'll hear my voice on the engine. Now this set is too long to put the whole set on the test track here at Legacy Station. So I think what we're gonna do is put the engine and maybe two or three passenger cars. And then we'll crank it up and give it a listen. All right, so here it is on the track. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, so I didn't do all of the audio announcements on the engine, but I did do the station stops and so forth. So I'm going to play those for you now, and then we'll also do the PFA sequence in a minute. But first, I'm just going to play the sound clips by themselves. So here's the first one. Now arriving from New Orleans on track one, the Crescent Limited. <laughs> Out the pressure. Here's the next one. Now departing for New York City on track one, the Crescent Limited. <laughs> so you've got arrival and departure. Now arriving from New Orleans on track one, the Crescent Limited. And then departure. Now departing for New York City on track one, the Crescent Limited. And then there's a number of station stops, so I'll play those. This stop is Birmingham. Welcome to Eric's Trains. Exit here for the layout tour. Welcome to Atlanta. This stop is Legacy Station. For your convenience, all purchases can be stored in the baggage car. <laughs> this stop is Tacoa. Welcome to Charlotte. This stop is Spencer. So I believe that's all the audio files that I did that they put on this engine. So what I'll do now is activate the PFA sequence and we can check that out. Now arriving from New Orleans on track one, the Crescent Limited. This stop is Spencer. Watch your step, please. Have a nice day. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Ticket in passengers only. Let me help you with your bag. Thank you. Now departing for New York City on track one, the Crescent Limited. Now boarding. Step right this way. Watch your step, please. Thank you. All aboard. I see the conductor's checking his watch again. It must be time to go. Conductor's giving us a highball signal. Let's get down the line. There it is. I did find one other announcement that I did, and that is on the extended shutdown sequence. So let's check it out. And this phrase should sound familiar to fans of my videos. That about wraps it up for this run, shutting it down. <laughs> Take care. See you soon. 
Man, that's cool. All right, so there you have it. This is beyond cool. Quite honestly, I'm still in a state of shock. I never thought I'd hear my voice coming out of a train. That's something I never really expected to happen. So this is certainly a milestone for Eric's trains and for me. Now, here's Brian with Legacy Station. And if someone wants to buy this, how many of these were made? This was a very small run, right? Yes, we had 10 total made. And how many are still available for sale? Two. And what's the price of one of these? They're $2,500 retail. We're selling for $2,250. So the whole set's $2,250. Right. Okay. And they are not splitting up the set. So you can't just buy the engine mm -hmm. or the passenger cars. You have to buy the whole set. Now, $2,250 seems really steep. That is typical pricing for standard gauge tin plate. It is a very expensive hobby. And so you have to have pretty deep pockets to get one of these. But they're never going to be made again, and Lionel Corporate Tin Plate itself is going away, at least for the foreseeable future. So this is definitely a rarity and something, like I said, it's never going to be made again. Now, I've been talking to Brian here at Legacy Station, and we are going to try to do some future projects with some more affordable trains. So we'll put my voice and so forth on some more affordable trains like a Rail King Scale GP7, or maybe a Premier SD70 or something like that. Something that's a little more affordable to the average person. But that's still up in the air. We don't know when that's going to happen. I've also talked to MTH about maybe putting my voice on some of their other engines, but that is up in the air as well. So this may be the first of many trains to have my voice on it, or it may be the only one ever made. So there's just no telling right now. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention before we leave Legacy Station is that if you recall last year, we did this custom building with Eric's trains and Legacy Station on it, and it was very popular and the initial run sold out. So due to overwhelming demand, they have done a second run of these buildings. So if you didn't get one the first time around, you can get one now. The price on these is right at $85. And they've got some in stock now, so if you want one, give Legacy Station a call. All right, that about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I still can't get over hearing my voice coming out of that engine. That was amazing, and like I said, I still can't believe it. I'm still in shock. Now, as I said in the store, Legacy Station and I are planning to do a future project, and we will try to do something more affordable, probably a Rail King scale diesel or a Premier Line diesel. I want it to be something scale, a scale model. So Rail King scale would be nice and affordable. Premier line would be a little bit nicer, but would cost a little more. But the whole goal is to get it to be something more affordable so that more people can buy one. And we may also do some rolling stock as well. And it'll all have sort of a legacy station, Eric's trains design to it. So it should be pretty cool. But that is all still up in the air. It's still very much in the planning stages. So I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Now, the next episode will be episode 74, of course, which will be the continuation of my series where I'm showing you some of my non-train hobbies and collections. Episode 74, which will be part two of that series, should be out next weekend. And then episode 75 will be the final part, part three of that series. And that'll be out hopefully the weekend after that. So keep an eye out for those. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to become a sponsor of Eric's Trains, you can do so at Patreon by going to www.patreon.com slash Eric's Trains. And if you become a first class Patreon sponsor, you will get your name listed at the end of every Eric's Trains video while you are a sponsor. You'll see what I mean in a second when this video ends. You'll see a bunch of names scroll by, and those are the names of my first-class Patreon sponsors. But for now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.